one arm preacher curl. Grab a dumbbell in one hand and sit on the preacher bench. Place the back of the arm with the dumbbell against the pad, with your arm fully extended and your palm facing up. One arm preacher curl flex your bicep to raise the dumbbell to your shoulder. Do not allow the back of your arm to come off the pad. Pause, then slowly lower the dumbbell to the start position. Dumbbell Overhead Triceps Extension Select the desired weight from the rack and position an adjustable bench at 90 degrees. To get into position, sit in an upright position and lift the dumbbell to the top of your shoulder. Take a deep breath, overlap your hands around the dumbbell, then press it into position overhead. Maintain an overlapping grip and slowly lower the dumbbell behind your head by unlocking your elbows. Once your forearms reach parallel or just below, drive the dumbbell back to the starting point by extending the elbows and flexing the triceps. Triceps Kickback Set the bench so that you can prop yourself into position with one arm against it, hinging at the waist. Squeeze your glutes and core to create tension. Look down at the floor, keeping your neck in a neutral position. Pick up the dumbbell off the floor. Row the dumbbell up until your upper arm is parallel with the ground. You'll work from this position. Keep your whole body rigid by maintaining full body tension, squeezing your glutes and core. Extend your elbow to kick back, moving only at the joint. At the top of the position with your arm straight, hold the weight still for a count and squeeze your triceps. Spider Curls Adjust a flat bench to a 45-degree angle. 2. Place your chest against the bench and rest your feet on the floor. Your legs should be long with a slight bend in your knees. Your weight should be on the balls of your feet. 3. Grab the dumbbells with your palms facing away from your body. 4. Rotate your shoulders outward to engage your lats and allow your arms to hang while maintaining a slight bend in your elbows. 5. Your chin should remain tucked throughout the movement, as if you were holding an egg under your chin. Engage your core. All repetitions should begin from this position. 6. While keeping your upper arms still, squeeze your biceps and bend your elbows until your lower arms contact your upper arms. The dumbbell should finish close to your shoulders without contacting your shoulders. 7. Squeeze your biceps and pause at the top of the movement. Cross Body Dumbbell Curl Grab a set of dumbbells and let them hang at arm's length to your sides. Maintain an upright posture with palms are facing the body. Cross Body Dumbbell Hammer Curl Slowly begin to curl one dumbbell up across your body to opposite shoulder. Make sure to keep palms facing inward and squeeze bicep at the top position. Pause for one second and slowly lower back to the starting position. Standing Alternate Curls The standing dumbbell curl is a good way to correct any strength and size imbalances in the biceps as it works each muscle individually. Set up for the exercise by grasping a set of dumbbells and standing straight up with the dumbbells by your side. 
your palms should be facing up, and the dumbbells not touching your body. Before starting the set, take up the slack by lifting up the weight slightly so the tension is on your bicep muscles. Starting with your weakest arm, usually the left, curl the dumbbell up as far as possible. Squeeze the bicep at the top of the exercise, and then slowly lower the weight down without it touching your body or taking the tension off your bicep. 